Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov soft skill video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about endurance and health. Before we get this video started, I just want to say that there is no exploits used in this video at all. All skill points are gained by using in-game mechanics. So we're going to be starting off by discussing endurance. So increasing your endurance soft skill will increase your stamina resource. It's going to increase the time that you hold your breath when aiming down sight. It decreases the stamina used while jumping, decreases breath recovery time, and with the elite perk, the breath recovery time is set to zero. You gain endurance experience by sprinting around in your raid, and from what we've tested, the main way endurance is given to players is by the distance they travel during the sprint, not just running on the spot. We know this because some players that unfortunately have fallen through the map gained near instant maximum endurance because their characters are traveling many kilometers per minute, falling through the earth while stuck in a full sprint. If the skill was only directly proportionate to the stamina bar, then the distance traveled would not have an impact on how many points the player receives. Therefore, somebody falling out of the map would experience the same level endurance points whether or not they're in the game or outside the map. Of course, the best way to specifically focus on endurance is to run around your map and let your stamina reach zero, wait for it to recharge all the way, and then run again. That way you can maximize the total distance traveled while running in a full sprint to increase the amount of soft skill points you gain. I'm going to be honest though, in all the time that I've spent playing EFT, I've never once specifically focused on leveling my endurance. By the time I got level 51 strength, my endurance has always been level 51 or very close to it. For example, right now I have level 48 endurance with 87 in-game hours in raids. It's going to take a while to level your endurance without focusing on it specifically, but with all of the other soft skill points you need to focus on, plus all the tasks you need to complete, you're going to be gaining endurance faster than you think. Another thing that is really important to mention is endurance and strength complement each other very nicely. And if you want to learn how to level your strength, I have a soft skill video already made on my channel. Check the link included in the description box below or check out the soft skill playlist. The more endurance levels you have, the more you can jump to increase your strength levels because the de decreased stamina cost of your jumps. And the more strength that you have, the further you can run to increase the amount of skill points for endurance. So now begs the question, what happens if you level your strength and your endurance at the exact same time? You join your raids overweight for strength training and you run and jump at the same time to decrease your stamina bar to zero. What actually happens is it maximizes your time leveling both skills at once. The best part about focusing on endurance and strength is you're actually going to be leveling up health as well. So let's talk about a little bit of health. When you level up your health, you're going to be decreasing the rate that you fracture your limbs, which is incredibly important. At level 51, this rate is 60%. You decrease your energy consumption, which is not as important, and it also decreases your hydration consumption, which is also not as important. The elite perk, however, adds damage absorption, but it doesn't tell you exactly how much it absorbs, and it's actually disputed if this is working in the game or not. Whenever you gain strength and endurance soft skill points, you'll also gain a small amount of health experience. That means by the time you level up one of your physical skills to 51, you'll also nearly be level 51 on health as well. So, while I was jumping to gain endurance and strength experience at the same time, like I just mentioned, I was also gaining health experience. And believe it or not, I leveled health to level 51 well before endurance and strength. And although focusing on one skill at a time will give you more experience, leveling up all three together will save you a massive amount of time in the long run. And you don't have to spend extra time in your raids just running around for endurance or just standing in a spot jumping for strength. All three of these skills complement each other and can be leveled completely together. So again, to level your endurance, your strength, and your health all at the exact same time, you want to load into a raid like you're leveling up your strength, being overweight. Then, instead of just jumping on the spot, you want to be full sprint while you're jumping to do these like super crazy long jumps, which is going to increase the distance that you travel while sprinting, while also jumping to gain strength experience, and therefore also gaining health experience. 
Before long, you're actually going to have level 51 health first, then endurance, and then finally strength. And at any time, if you feel that one skill is falling behind, just focus a little bit more on sprinting instead of jumping and vice versa. And that's all that you guys need to know about endurance and health. There's no special gimmick to it. Uh, the only cost that you need to actually put out is if you are leveling up your strength and you don't have a gamma container. Then you're going to be spending a little bit of your money on buying buckshot to push your weight above the maximum carry limit. So that is the only cost overhead, which is really not that much for leveling three skills together. And again, don't expect to have this happen overnight, but with a few weeks of playing and just completing your raids like normal, you will level up your soft skills eventually to level 51, and that's going to be the major portion of your physical skills completed. The final video, Vitality, will be coming very soon because thanks to a few community members, we have discovered the best way to level that up to 51. I have yet to start this journey, so it's going to take me a little while, but expect that video in the next week or two. Anyways, guys, if you found this video informative and useful, as always, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe for more Escape from Tarkov guides and gameplay, and I'll see you on the daily live streams every single morning starting at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.